in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed I'm about to pray for the sick there is a man of God here the nature of your call demands that you work greatly in the healing anointing and I'm seeing because I just saw oil dripping on the ground and the Lord told me it is the healing grace I'm going to pray for the sick but there is a man of God here the absence of the healing anointing is limiting the quality and the strength of your ministry i don't know who that person is but in the name of jesus christ i stretch my hands no no you don't have to come out since i didn't call you don't worry you can stand where you are and receive in the name of jesus father everyone who is called into the healing ministry and I said it the last time I was in this city, God has revealed to me that before Christ returns, there will be a mighty move of the healing ministry again. We have not seen the healing ministry as our fathers. So we've seen pockets of it here and there, but there will be such a move, the healing ministry, authentic, genuine healing ministry. I pray right now. I don't know that man of God. But in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hand. Man of God there does not just mean male. Male and female all together. I hope you know that women have a major end time role to play. A major end time role. There are women who will come in the spirit and the power of Elijah. And will do mighty things across regions. It is true. They will defy the prejudices of gender and race and God will use them mightily and gloriously. I'm praying right now. Healing rain is falling down. Healing rain is falling down. Not afraid. Everyone to carry this healing anointing. At the count of three, I declare, like oil may it rest upon you now. One, two, get ready now. Get ready. Three, take that grace right now. In the name of Jesus, may your hands be anointed. You will lay hands on the sick and you will watch the wonder working power of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare through your hands and through your ministry, may the Lord do mighty things mighty things mighty things now please hear me we are going to do this very fast and I want you to please participate I'm about to pray for the sick do not allow any situation that you came here with to remain as you go mm -mm. It was Archbe Archbishop Benson Idahosa who said, if your faith says yes, God will not say no. I'm about to pray for the sick. And please hear me. I want you to lay your hands right now where you are trusting God for a miracle. Believe that you will be healed. And then, if you are standing in for someone, whether for those following online, or you have a loved one like our mothers came here to stand in for their loved ones I'm going to pray and the power of God will rest upon you the moment you find out that a miracle has happened to you I'm going to give you an opportunity whether you are in the overflow 
at the other side of the road or this one by my right or you know up the balcony or here will give you room to quickly come and stand either to my left or to my right we'll take a few testimonies and then i will pray on your request and speak over you and then we'll wrap up lay your hands there if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest father you mandated us to go and heal the sick you mandated us to cast out devils to raise the dead as we declare the authority and the supremacy of your kingdom spirit of the living god we thank you for your presence that is in this place and across the nations by way of the internet i pray right now in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god everyone here who is sick by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I declare that the spirit that is back of that infirmity, the spirit that is back of that condition, in the name of Jesus, you give way now. Shout a loud amen. Now I declare in the name of Jesus, be healed now. Be healed of blood conditions now. Someone is, I, I don't know, but it's, it's, it's a messy scene I'm seeing in my vision. Someone will start vomiting, like throwing out something, and that will be the end of it. I'm seeing an infirmity. This is a demonic thing. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare any eye condition by the power that raised Christ from the dead be healed now. Every bone condition bone condition affecting your walking in Jesus name let life surge to your limbs now everything affecting your walk whether a spinal cord issue we correct it right now by the power of the Holy Spirit there are a number of ladies I'm seeing in my vision having all kinds of growths and lumps please believe that God heals in the name of Jesus Christ I declare right now let that demonic growth leave your body now there's someone it's like you have a problem with your toe this is what I'm seeing in my vision you have a problem with your toe I don't know what that problem is but in the name of Jesus I command that that demonic pain to leave now There was someone you couldn't see very far it's not like you are blind but you couldn't see far as soon as i pray now you check it and you find out that your vision has been restored in the name of jesus please don't be embarrassed i'm praying for you i'm looking at a lady and all of a sudden one of your breasts began to swell up unusually and you are afraid this is like a demonic thing in the name of Jesus, it will shrink back now. We cast that devil. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You started having this problem when you wake up in the morning. Your neck is as if you cannot move it well. And it's been months right now. You can't move your neck. There's severe excruciating pain. I declare that pain leaves you now. That pain leaves you now. The Lord is showing me someone when you eat, especially food that is oily, you find out that in a short while you will throw up. You will start feeling like you, you want to throw up and you will throw up. In the name of Jesus, I bring you liberty now. HIV be healed. Cancer, it doesn't matter what stage, be healed now. There is a gentleman you have been suffering from pile in the name of Jesus Christ excruciating pain even when you are not going to the toilet just when you are sitting excruciating pain 
in Jesus name the Lord is bringing life to your body now someone you could not lift your hands very well you're already having is like symptoms of arthritis or stroke you know in the name of Jesus Christ I command healing for you now now please hear me whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God be healed now be healed now the Lord is showing me a woman is not barrenness but when you take in it does not stay more than three months you will have a dream something will happen a man comes to oppress you and that's it it just leaves in the name of Jesus Christ I don't know who that person is but that condition right now it comes to a permanent end it's only that you look and leave look and leave my brother Lee look to Jesus Christ and Lee is recorded in his word hallelujah it's only that you look now I want you to begin to check yourself look at this the collarbone here the power of God is touching someone right now that collarbone in the name of Jesus I'm seeing someone I don't know if you are here or maybe following online or it's just my vision God is showing me you have a child that is suffering from autism autism in the name of Jesus Christ the power of God is touching that child right now autism autism be healed now your your son your sister son in the name of Jesus wherever the boy is we declare that you'll be healed now now I want you to check yourself the moment a miracle has happened to you check yourself and make your way to the front right now come and stand here or stand here while we're doing that I'm going to give you two prayer points you're going to pray it right now let's celebrate them people are coming in the name of Jesus Christ check yourself if you are outside and the power of God has touched you and you want to make your way to the front let the ushers allow you doesn't matter what overflow I'm about to pray for you are you celebrating miracles the power of God is touching people check yourself check yourself let's have a pastor or two can we have a few people check them now whilst they are coming I want you to pray that in the name of Jesus every door and every gate connected to the next season of my destiny I declare that you are open now open your mouth and begin to pray please take it serious this is a miracle service every door doors are systems of access they midwife rooms they midwife dimensions every gate and every door are you praying connected to the next level and the next season of my life I decree and I declare I decree and I declare I decree and I declare be open for me right now I decree and I declare I decree and I declare my God are you seeing miracles people are coming people are coming pray God is opening doors
when you are ready for the testimonies let's just have a mic or two the last prayer point i'm going to give you and then we'll receive the testimonies are you ready now i told you that the help of god comes as his mercy as the gift of men and as the holy spirit i'd like you to pray that everyone whose help is connected to your destiny between now and the end of september by the power of prophecy they must gravitate to your life open your mouth and begin to pray please pray please pray everyone whose help and ministry is connected to my life connected to my destiny i declare that they gravitate towards me right now your name is to be in the name of jesus in the name of jesus please be seated for a few minutes be sensitive now yes please very quickly very quickly your testimony let's do that very fast hallelujah i have been having this please, can we have a bit of volume on this mic i've been having this waist pain so you've been having waist pain, pain. yes for how long for four years four now. years four years now. what happened to you now waist pain bend any pain any pain any pain come on celebrate jesus waist pain gone forever in the name of jesus yes please Difficulty in breathing and I difficulty just, in breathing. breathing. So I just fell under anointing and I just got up. And you I fell under the anointing fine. and right now, fine. breathe in and out. Completely gone. Can you imagine? Listen. Did you know? Listen, listen, listen. Look how many people God is touching. Do you know that sometimes look at a lady, she comes having this problem, and what happens is she falls under the anointing, and that's the end of it. This is how someone will go to bed and this spirit will oppress them and they never wake up. Never wake up. Place your hand on your chest. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare it remains permanent. Permanent. In Jesus' name, go and walk in the liberty of Jesus. Yes, Lord, please. This woman happens to have had healing from two of the cases that you mentioned. Two of the cases. Yes, the one on the foot. You remember talking about somebody that had, um, you know, a pain on the. Okay, foot. the foot. So let her talk. And then the. Okay. I woke up last month with that. I can. I was not unable to. Oh my, my. Right now, what happened to you? I, I. Turn it. Go ahead. Let the devil see you turn it. You couldn't do this yes. for how long? For one month now. I just woke up and I could not. In the I name of praying. Jesus Christ, your healing remains permanent. God bless you. Yes, please, very quickly. Praise the Lord. Since two years now, I've been having a serious chest pain. So immediately I was praying, I felt something, a burning sensation. Then I didn't feel the pain again. And it just left. It will never return to you again. In the name of Jesus. Yes, please. Praise the Lord. Two days ago, I um, woke, woke up with a uh, neck pain. And, you know, I just thought it was a joke. But that night when I went to bed, um, I woke up to ease myself around 12 in the night and realized that I couldn't get up. So I felt trapped. You couldn't in my get up? Wow. I couldn't get up. The, the pain um, went from my neck all the way down yes. to my back. And I felt like I was trapped in my body and all that. And right and now? Right now, it's gone. I couldn't completely, oh, completely, completely. No pain. Well. no pain. In the name of Jesus Christ, it I lift it now. I'm able to lift it. Lift it. Yes. Lift it again. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Um, for 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 some months now, I've had um, problems with my knee. Your knee? Yes, my okay. both knees. Um, I could not flex my knees for a, suspend, for a sustained period of time. Okay. But now it's possible. And then I walked in here with back pain. But even before we prayed, the back pain left. Completely. In Jesus' name, this knee condition, we curse it. It will never return to you again. Yes, please. Go ahead. Hallelujah. I've been having pains on my shoulder for months now. 
And when the man of God was praying, the pens disappeared. Completely gone. Yes, sir. In Jesus' name. It's gone forever. Yes, please. Praise the Lord. For some months now, I could not be able to shift my chest like this. It seems as if there is block inside my chest. But right now, I check can't. yourself. And do like it's this. completely gone. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, it will never return again. Quickly. Praise the Lord. Um, so while you were praying for pastors, my dad is actually a pastor. For the past four years, my dad has been diagnosed with Parkinson and partial stroke. So while you were praying, I just called and then I put the phone on the speaker and then he was responding, Amen. All of a sudden, his voice ceased and then I told my sister to tell me what was happening. He said he said a feeling vibration. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hallelujah. I didn't even hear what she said. Honestly, the Lord was showing me something else. What did you say? My, when you were praying for the pastors, my dad had been diagnosed of Parkinson's since of, um, last Parkinson's. four years. Parkinson's? Yes, sir. And then with partial stroke, he has not been able to preach all the way. And he's a pastor. And he's a pastor. Right now, what happened? <laughs> Why you were praying? I called and I put the phone on speaker. And all of a sudden, his voice ceased. And then I told my sister to tell me what was happening. And then she said he's a dead shivering. And then he, he started moving his body. He started moving his body. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let me tell you, listen. As soon as as soon as she started talking the lord opened my eyes and i was seeing something else that was why i was not i just saw a word congratulations listen and as soon as i saw that word congratulations i had this song hey bezina help me Chuku make sense but blessed is she that believes you can believe this and receive it and you will be surprised some of you right here in church even before you come out someone will just call you and say congratulations hallelujah yes please go ahead No, 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 don't hold the mic straight to the point. We may not I, be able to... Okay. I had an accident. You had an accident? This is five years ago. And, um, How long? I five have years. Two and what happened? I have two pains and they refused to go, but as uh, you were minister, I prayed and I can't feel the pain anymore. In the name of Jesus, it leaves you right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hold on. Stand up, man. Where is the child? Is she okay? How long has she been a widow? Uh, have you been a widow? My husband died last two months, July, but he was buried last month, 31st of August. So, what happened that you couldn't pay the child's school fees? I hope he died without leaving anything for us. What of you, madam? Don't be embarrassed. I didn't call you to embarrass. That last two years. Two years. And you could not afford your child's school fees? Been difficult, sir. Why? I'm not really doing anything and he did anything for us. You came from where? Here we, sir. You believe in miracles? Uh, yes, sir. I'm going to pray for you because when I saw that, the Lord asked me to give you the school fees of the child. 
this is not this is not some showmanship we're not interested in all that it's just to tell you that no matter where you are you see god uses people to show you what he can do how does a woman sit down like this a program is happening and in the sincerity of her heart she said my own problem is i came Newe is um from an number how many hours that's what i'm give me an example yeah, an about four hours and she came and sat outside not knowing anybody and yet god picks her and decides to wipe her tears this is an example to tell you that you can be anywhere and god can come to you and reach you and wipe your tears are we together don't say i do not know any man remember the helper the helper so please um let me see these two people after service eh? may god bless you in the name of jesus christ let's take one or two one or two of the testimonies we have to hurry up our time is gone please let's take any two two or three yes please go ahead so i've been trusting god for healing i've been having a severe pain since it started last severe year. pain yes for how yeah. long for last year as of last year and so, right now what happened immediately i was praying this thing just stopped completely yes, in the name of jesus that pain leaves you never to return to you again in jesus name let's celebrate her yes please praise the lord i've been having this pain my left shoulder you and notice that most of the miracles have to do with pain 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 let me tell you this when you see the lord doing the same thing it is a message he's bringing remember help i taught you has to do with taking away making things easy and notice that most of the pain has to do with the shoulder the shoulder is where you carry load it's a message god is speaking that I'm taking away burdens, I'm taking away loads, and I prophesy to someone's life tonight, in the name of Jesus, may the God of heaven arise in his power, and take away every luggage that has been placed by the devil over your life. And the pain used to be seasonal, it's been years now, for some time I'll start feeling it and, and, and right now it's gone. it's gone in the name of Jesus it never returns to you again let that man and that woman be the last my apologies I will praise I'll, the Lord for past, like, for past three months I'd like to hear this wasted. lady's testimony so okay last month I can't even what happened to you my waist is baby for past three months and right now what happened right now I can't. completely look at this it's gone in the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again. Yes, please. I've, I had pain, excruciating pain on my neck. I came here with serious pain this evening. Even the drugs I took couldn't help me. But as the prayer was going on for the sick, I'm free. Completely. No pain again. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you. This lady seems pressed on her testimony. What happened to you? I came here with my lens. This is my lens. I don't see very well without this lens. And the last time I went to Chicago, my doctor said that if I don't go for glaucoma eye surgery, I'm going to go blind. And again, I'm a widow with two sons. If I go blind without my husband, I don't even know how to take care of my children. And what now, happened to you? Now, after receiving the deliverance, Helen, I was at the other side. I have to walk from there without this lens to here. Look at this. Pastor, thank you for this conference. In your obedience is someone's salvation. In your obedience is someone's healing in your obedience is someone's restoration look what has happened to this woman do you know what it means to come to church and go back those who saw you going to church you return back what happened i went to the house of god what happened there i met god the god of the bible in the name of jesus my dear it will never return to you again 
your healing remains permanent in Jesus name yes please let me have one more person and then I pray this woman is each in goodness we're working with time you have a testimony okay come let me just my apologies not just creating superiority but let me just hear what what's the testimony praise God I'm having high blood pressure since uh, 13 years I lost my husband I'm since taking, 13 years yes, I'm taking drugs on April I just noticed that my system changed so my sugar level I didn't get sugar level before but since the April the thing just shoot up to 381 from uh, since that then I'm visiting hospital of uh, uh, UNTH now they now say I should do test of uh, liver they say the liver enlarged and the dropping since there I'm having pains here but after that uh, prayer the pains has gone from here I feel it was here and after return back to God who will take care of my six children if I die I say God thank you for what he has done thank you Jesus in the name of Jesus you have no business with death this healing remains permanent and i cause any spirit behind any pain in jesus name i pray for the sake of time you have a testimony oh dear you see my people you see how why miracle services usually okay let's let's just allow Hi, this time testimony sir i came to see you in abuja my miracle service with this baby he wasn't talking he didn't hold his neck from bed Baby has been walking before we came. Oh, you went to Abuja? Yes, made miracle service. You saw us around 12, eight, mid, 12 midnight. You prayed and said there should be restoration. When we were coming back, my husband called and he said hello. Other people were receiving calls. If you hear a phone call, he will say hello, hello. The therapist that are seeing him say that he's now due to start a regular school and mix up with other children. Oh, dear. <laughs> That he, that, that he is improving. That he is improving. That his speech is improving. I just want to in, say in the thank name you of Jesus, Jesus Christ. You see, for you to appreciate a miracle, you have to put yourself in the shoes of the people. Are we together? You do not know how inconveniencing. By the privilege of God's grace and what I do, there are people when you see their conditions, even after prayer, you feel like weeping because the Lord. The load that their family members, especially maybe issues that relate to autism and all of these things. May God keep anointing mighty men in Enugu State who will continue to do the work of healing, of power, of restoration. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen and amen. For the sake of time, let me just speak. Oh dear, look at, there are so many people begging to testify. Would you forgive me if, if we allow, now here's what will happen. Here's what will happen. It doesn't matter whether you testify in this session or any other session. The most important thing is to know that God has done this. So I, may I plead with any of, maybe any official so that at least we honor them for coming to stand so long to testify. Who is that one lifting a phone? What happened? Oh, you were healed. The person on the phone. From where? He's in where? No, no, no. You don't have to go with the mic. Huh? In the village. For you and everyone who has been touched by the power of God, I decree in the name of Jesus, your miracles remain permanent. You will experience the grace of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Please, everybody stand. Everybody stand. Everybody stand. Please stand, everyone. There are just two things I want to do. Thank you for your patience. Number one. I began to speak to you and I told you that the Holy Spirit has a ministry to non-believers. A non-believer or a non-believer is one who has not had a personal encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ. And there are thousands of people all across this arena and environs. And many of them are saying, Apostle, I know 
hearing you teach about the Holy Spirit I have not allowed him to carry out his ministry that noble ministry in my life and as it is right now I cannot really say I am saved or you are saying apostle I remember giving my life to Jesus Christ but as it is right now I cannot sincerely say my relationship is fine with him you may be in the main auditorium here up the balcony or any of the tents or you may be falling online by way of television by way of the internet or even by way of rebroadcast it does not matter we cannot end this meeting without giving you an opportunity to make Jesus Lord of your life listen it pays to serve Jesus and it pays to love Jesus and to give surrender your entire life to him you've tried other options lesser and by far more inferior options give him a chance to fix your life and indeed to help you the Bible says when we are saved we are translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son I'm going to make an altar call and we just have two minutes for you before I speak over your life and we're done you are in this auditorium you're outside I'm going to count one to five and as I begin to count I want you to run and come and stand here the moment this place is filled then you will make use of your led screens wherever you are you need to make it right with jesus i don't expect you to be thinking about it by now you should know run like there's fire on the mountain i begin my counting now please when you come don't kneel stand for the sake of space one are we celebrating salvation two three Make sure you are coming to Jesus genuinely he can give you a new beginning for someone is still running to Jesus for those of you who are making this decision from across the world or from a location that is outside this place there's a whatsapp number that is projected if you follow your screen you are to send new life to that number on whatsapp let us know you can send your name and probably your number and your address so that they get to know and then there are a few counselors who can reach you please make sure you are receiving the card there's a salvation card that the counselors are giving wave your hands if you don't have one so that they pass it to you very quickly Please, counselors, let's get it across to them very quickly because I want to lead them to pray. This is the greatest miracle here, literally. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to lead you to pray this prayer. If, if the front is, is filled, just, just stand across the aisles. Don't worry. The most important thing is your decision. May I request that you lift your right hand this card you would be requested to fill it please do so very legibly you may not have the opportunity to fill it right now i'm not sure um do well to just fill it make sure that you hand it over with all the details required before you leave you can hand it to the officials but for now please stop any feeling just lift your hands and whether you are outside or inside lift your hand and say this loud and clear let it be from the depth of your heart say lord jesus tonight I need you I have heard your word that you are able to help me I ask you to help me right now I receive Jesus into my heart as my Savior as my Lord and as my King I declare that the power of sin Satan hell the grief is broken over my life from tonight and forever I am a child of God washed by the blood of the Lamb I go forward ever and backward never amen 
keep your hands lifted father we thank you because the bible declares that as many who will come to you you will in no wise cast away these ones have come declaring their faith in you i declare by the authority of scripture that your sins are forgiven and in the name of jesus i call you bona fide recipients of eternal life in the name of jesus i commend you to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the holy spirit may you be grounded and established in righteousness in the name of jesus you go forward ever and backward never for in jesus name we pray just a moment praise the lord now please because it's late we can't have a meeting together but please take this number send your name and a new life to that number now come for the meeting tomorrow come for the meeting on saturday on sunday after the service i'll be having lunch with every one of you immediately after the service we have one service combined service on sunday and after then i'll personally meet with every one of you we'll have lunch together and then we're going to share a lot of things with you but the only way you can sustain what you have done now please be here tomorrow be here on saturday and if you can make it on sunday and then we'll talk after then but please do make sure you send your whatsapp number or send your details to this whatsapp number and just new life xyz and so on with your name god bless you please rise god bless you return back to your seat rejoicing everyone stand as we wrap up please can you sing that song for me Anansi, hallelujah. Anansi, hallelujah. want to speak over your life prophetic speakings are very powerful in the name of Jesus I pray for you everything that has kept you on the ground in life and destiny by the power that raised Christ from the dead I release help for you to begin to sow in the name of Jesus Christ for those of you who are in need of the mercy of God to speak in any area of your life silencing the legal accusations of darkness and keeping you in a position where you are a victim may the blood speak over you now may the blood speak for you now may the blood speak concerning you now number two i pray for you every destiny helper and every prophetic relationship that must be introduced in your life in this season for the sake of your rising and your excelling i expose you to such persons in the name of jesus finally i pray for you your relationship with the holy spirit that includes your prayer life that includes your word study life that includes your life of fasting and consecration in the name of jesus christ life to your prayer altar life to your word study altar in the name of jesus christ may the ministry of the holy spirit be real to you and in jesus name i stand here under the combined grace of myself jerry Eze, reverend Uzimwa, and your pastor and the father the shepherd over this house reverend edwin and we speak to you as a united force rise to a new dimension rise to a new season in the name of jesus christ that by this time next year everyone will see that the lord has shown you mercy for in jesus name we pray may the lord bless you and may the lord increase you in jesus name hallelujah hallelujah don't go don't go before praying for apostle you have received from him hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us to tell us in the comment section where you were watching
in this form. And then if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching. In the name of Jesus, drought in your life, that even when it is physical rainy season, it is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise. I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain.